Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a very long time since I've made a video and I apologize for that. But today I learned how to finally do the Rubik's Cube 2x2. So for you today, I will show you these algorithms to complete it. So first I'm just gonna mix it up randomly. Just so you know, I'm not cheating. I'll just close my eyes, mix it up randomly. You know, do a couple weird things. Okay, so now we've got it all mixed up. So we're gonna start with the white side. So I like to find a bottom that has no white and use that as my bottom. And then use the top of that as where I'm gonna put the whites. So basically here's how it goes. You find the white on the top. This side, it has red. So then you find another white, which has red on this side. So then I line it up. I line it up with this spot right here because if this has red here, then you want this to have red here too to make it even. So then here's how you do it. So if you're lining it up to go here, then you line it up below, turn it once to the right, turn this down, turn it back so it lines up, and then turn it up. So now you've got two on this side and you've got two up here lined up. So now all you have to do is line two more up. Now there is one on the bottom. So I'm gonna line that up with an area that has none. See how it's all a straight line, no more whites on this line. Then I'm just gonna turn it up once. Now it's like this, I'm gonna turn it again. And now it's lined up with the rest. So now I have two layers, okay? Now, I have one more white, so I'm just gonna turn that and line it up right underneath here. I'm gonna turn it once to the right to get it out of the way, turn this down, turn it back to line up, and turn it up. Now we have it all even on every side, and this. So now comes an algorithm. So you, you wanna flip it over to where the yellow side would be, and if you already have a yellow, then you just turn it to your left corner, so facing you, the left. And if you don't have a yellow at all, it's fine. But if you have any yellow, turn it to the left corner. So here's how the algorithm's gonna go. It is the first algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U times two, R prime. So we're gonna go R, U, R prime, U, R, U times two, R prime. Now this may take multiple times. So here I'm just gonna go down here. I'm just gonna do this and it'll take multiple times, but you basically just wanna continue this algorithm and keep the yellow in the corner. Every time you finish the algorithm, turn the yellow to the your left corner and basically just keep doing it until you have the full yellow side. So. I'm just going to keep doing this algorithm until I have the full side. Now the thing about this algorithm is every time you do it, you keep the white side and all the sides the same after doing it. So that's why it's a good algorithm to use. This has taken me a while before, so it may just take you a little while to do this which is fine. Because, you know, it just, it takes time sometimes. Uh-oh. Now, sometimes you mess it up, so that's fine. If you still have two matched up here, then you're just going to do what we did before. Line it up. Turn it to whichever way it'll be out of the way. And voila, you've got three. Now I have one here still, so I'm just gonna line it up. Turn it away, point down. Okay, now I can continue. So I'm just basically trying to get the full yellow side. There. So I got the full yellow side. And after you get the full yellow side, most of the time, about 
90% of the time, you should be able to have what three sides. Of course, the white, the yellow, and let's say the red, the blue, any of these sides. So it, let's say you have your other done side. So you have the yellow. You want to point the yellow facing you. So yellow facing you, and you want to point the other side you have done facing away. And here's the next algorithm. So you're going to hold it like this. Yellow facing up your full side facing away, white on the bottom. Here's the next algorithm. R prime, F, R prime, B prime times two, R, F prime, R, B prime times two, R times two, B prime times two. So we're gonna, and I haven't fully memorized this one yet, but basically we're gonna go, holding it like this, this color facing away, so it'll be facing you. R prime, F, R prime, B prime times two, R, F prime, R, B prime times two, R times two, B prime times two. Now at this point, it should look like this, and then all you have to do is just turn it around and match it up with its color. And there, you've completed the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube with these two algorithms. So let's go over it again. The first algorithm you use after you've completed the white side, which for me is the hardest part, is getting the white side. So after you've completed the white side, you do this algorithm uh, holding the yellow side up. After you finish that, you should most likely, 90% of the time, and if not, I forgot to tell you, if you don't have a, another side after you finish the yellow side, I would just mix it up and try the whole Rubik's Cube again, because that's what I do to help me. Anyway, after you do that and you have that side, you do this long algorithm, and you should be left with the Rubik's Cube looking something like this, and where you just have to turn it a few times to get it matched up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I feel very accomplished now that I learned how to do the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube, and I hope you guys learn it from my video. Thanks so much for watching. Click that subscribe button, click the thumbs up button, and press the notification bell if you want to see when I make more videos. Bye!